Inside Out has just released and some are calling it the best Pixar movie. And I am also calling it the best Pixar movie. Uh, no, 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 no. I haven't it's seen it yet. Good. Right up front, I haven't seen it. But I do think that to evaluate, to, to put it in its context amongst all the other Pixar movies, it needs to be seen multiple times, I would say, over a more extended period of time. Or you just watch it once or twice and you make a decision based on your gut. And you make a knee-jerk emotional no, decision. No, not... Without much This is thought. a story <laughs> about emotions. Exactly. And, and I'm getting angry. No, no, no. I think it's important for kids to watch when they're mm -hmm. growing up. It teaches you, it kind of teaches you about depression in a way mm -hmm. that is totally understandable. And I think opens the door to that. Because I, I know that mental health issues are kind of a, um, a taboo. Mm -hmm. Like we, you do yes. not want to admit you have any kind of weakness. You don't want to be able, you don't want people to think of you as being less than or weaker or, yeah. or m not stable. And then I, it, just to come out and say, explain like, this is what's going on. You know, it's a perfectly valid response. I thought was important. And there are some moments, as with every Pixar mommy, mo mommy, mommy <laughs> movie, that would make you cry. I think Pixar yeah. has a very strong reputation on making you cry a lot. Yes. Um, I'm just going to skilled emotional manipulators. quickly go over the list of official Pixar um, movies, and then maybe you can remember which one is your favorite. So we have Toy Story, A Bug's Life, Toy Story 2, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, Cars, Ratatouille, WALL-E, Up!, Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Brave, Monsters University, and of course, Inside Out. Yeah. Let's take a visual look. Jumped up a little because I didn't remember a kitty. I, we should hold hands as we no, go into we the shouldn't fire. Hold hands. Anyway, um, um, <laughs> yeah, look, they made a lot of great movies. I think nobody's disputing that. Mm -hmm. um, I have not seen a good I number. Seen I would say either. I haven't seen Monster Zinc. I haven't seen The Incredibles what? or Cars but those or ones Brave are so good. or Monsters University. Yeah, no, I just haven't gotten around to seeing it. But I, I do think that the, the Toy Story saga is amongst the best animated it's movies important. of all time. I would probably I, look again. I haven't seen. Inside Out. I Maybe it's seen, better. Um, I have a hard time believing it's better than the, the Toy Story movies. opening 10 minutes made me cry so much. Yeah. And I couldn't handle it. Well, but but that actually, that brings up a good, uh, hopefully Inside Out is an example of this, but Pixar has had a problem of, whilst they make great movies, they have made a good number of movies that have strong beginnings and first halves and then pretty mediocre endings. I don't think Up has a mediocre ending. I don't know. I haven't I seen it. I don't think it holds up to the beginning. The beginning punched me in the heart yeah. and I couldn't take it anymore. I would put Wally -E in that same category, perhaps Ratatouille as well. Uh, they have great premises and initially the characters are super interesting, but then the movie itself I, I don't think, think really sustains it. I think by far the worst movie is Cars 2. By a long shot. I, I haven't watched it. I don't, oh, I don't need to see it. It's a Joe movie that focuses on Larry the Cable Guy oh, as a tow truck <laughs> who becomes <laughs> a... Uh, an international spy for some reason. I it lo I lost any charm the first movie had, at least according to uh, my opinions. Mm -hmm. uh, I do think the Toy Story uh, trilogy is very important. I that mean, last one, man, and and also it does teach things one. too. It teaches about about some of the inherent sadness and in growing up and and separating and leaving behind the things that you used to love, including the people that you used to love, like. Uh, the, the stuff you were saying about depression certainly seems important for kids to learn too, but these are important lessons that you do leave behind a lot of things from your the childhood. The inevitability of aging and growing up. And the likelihood that you're going to be burned in a gigantic fire. The innocence and you might die in a trash fire. Mm -hmm. uh, Those the, are important. The Don't trust one, stuffed animals. There's a Sarah McLaughlin song called, I think, When She Loved Me. Mm. Oh my God, it's it makes sad. me cry so much. I can't handle yeah. it. No, they know what they're doing. Yeah, so they I, know I can't exactly say it what they're out. doing. Breaking my heart. Oh, inside, you'll cry. 
I did. I'm, I'm about to. Bing bong! <laughs> That's a character. Know oh. You know what I mean if you've seen it, audience. Uh, and on that note, what do you think is the best Pixar movie? I say it's Inside Out. John didn't really give me an answer. I guess it's Toy, Toy Story. Story 1. Sure. Um, and let us know below if there were any you just could not get through. Uh, it was too sad. It's I couldn't sad. handle it. But you know what? Good on you, Pixar, for making me feel things. Uh, let us know that below in the comments. And please be sure to subscribe for more.